Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya Roya and I teach creative people how to sell their art online and I'm making coffee because that is the topic of today's video. Well, uh, not coffee, more like coffee mugs. So you'll excuse me while I make my like 11th cup of coffee for today. It's extremely cold right now in the end, so I'll show you some snow if you want to, but I just want to make my coffee today. With a printful magic mug which is black until i do like this i really hope i don't burn myself <laughs> all the things i do for videos <sighs> i've never done this in the air but let's watch it form in front of us yeah it's actually quite kind of cool i actually really like this mug I was waiting to make a video so I can start using it, but I'm actually pretty thrilled about it. I like how it like comes up. And I ordered this mug for myself with a design that is pretty much my uh, logo on Etsy. Just some random thing that I did with the oil arts. And well, if you've been to my Etsy store, then you've seen it. If not, then <laughs> there's a link to that down below. Still working on that one. It's been a long month. I've only made four videos so far in November, so. Hopefully this one will kick it off. We have a lot more design tutorials coming up in December. A lot of things to look forward to to 2022 with Print and Man and with Printables. But for now, let's just enjoy this mug from Printful with a full review, as well as another mug that I got from Printful that I think you guys would like because not only it was a really good mug, but the design process was super easy, super fast, and was made entirely on Printful. So let's go back to my table, leave my kitchen, and have some fun with two mugs from Printful. And we're back to me sitting here in the office looking at Bansco, which is filled with snow. If you really like snow, hang on to the end of the video. I'm gonna brace myself and take the camera outside to say goodbye in the snow on the fifth floor overlooking the complex that I live in. But for now, what we're doing today is reviewing Printful. I have ordered two mugs from Printful. One of them is the Glossy Black Magic Mug, and it's sold for 8.95 euros. Uh, I'm seeing everything in euros because I'm currently in Bulgaria, and I got it fulfilled from Latvia. And the second one that I got was the Anamo Mug for 10.5 euros, again, from Latvia. And that's kind of cool for me, I mean, that the fact that they manufacture in Latvia, because Printful stuff that I order come super fast and I'm talking to you from like order till the minute it's literally in my door maybe eight or nine days and it arrives super fast and I think that is important to find that one print demand supplier that can fulfill in Europe whether you're selling to the whole world or just selling to Europe I'm guessing in the states they have good rates as well. I remember a friend of mine from the States also ordered something that I had with Printful because I had sort of a small shop a few years ago with Printful and Etsy for mugs and she also got her delivery very fast. Now, the thing that I want you to know, first of all, I'm ordering a lot of these products under 20% discount on free shipping, which you can get as a seller on Printful pretty much every month to test order products for yourself. It's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, it's a great opportunity for you guys to actually test the quality of the stuff as well as have photographs of the actual items to upload them onto Etsy or to Shopify as well as to your social media. I'm very into coffee today. So hot. Okay, so I got this lovely mug, the magic mug, and it came in packaged like this. I kind of like their packaging and the thing I appreciate the most about Printful and their packaging is who is sending it to me? Because the shop that I had integrated with Printful on Etsy used to be called Dainty Mugs. And whenever I order anything from Printful, I see that it comes from Dainty Mugs, which is super important. I mean, you don't want a supplier to, you know, send something to your clients from Printful. And it actually happened to me when I was doing it from Finer Works. I mean, I made an order and I got it from James something from Finer Works Media, even though they did have the name on my of my shop on their record. So that's one good thing that they do. And the other very good thing that they do is that the packaging is extremely secure. I mean, the mugs come in this package, which is totally secure. It really, really minimizes the chances that anything is going to break or something is going to happen to your mug. 
And when it comes to the Glossy Magic Mug, well, the first thing, you know, to know that it works, and it does work, even though it's not as white as I thought it's going to be. I think it was a bit more white at the beginning, and the fluid here is extremely hot, so it's not about the temperature. But I do like it, and I think that with these mugs, it might be best to have a personalized Etsy store, a personalized Shopify store, so people can send you whatever they want. And another something cool that you can do is sell personalized photos, but for example, not just to put a photo of the person here and on this side as well, both sides, guys, but to make sure that it's personalized in a different way so the photo can be in some sort of a frame or something cute like that. That will be incredibly amazing for Valentine's, which is right around the corner, and we should start planning for it pretty much now. But again, you can also do these with happy birthday. You can also do this with it's a boy or it's a girl. For example, if, a, if someone wants to buy their husband like a surprise reveal the gender mug, that could be an awesome idea as well. Or a mug, will you marry me? When you make someone like their coffee in the morning and stuff like that, that could be a really, really cool way of using this effect of revealing the, basically the design of the mug when the fluid is in. But the second mug that I wanted to show you is a mug that I've been really, really excited about. And I do have to say, I kind of like how they have their packaging. I mean, the, just the information on the label. So this is from Dainty Mugs from Pilanissima. I have no idea how to read it. Something Marapus, something Latvia. So that's the name of the street and the name of the factory, like the address of the factory, basically. It was delivered to me and I can actually see everything in here. I can see like, what does it contain? It contains one piece of stainless steel mug, 12 ounces, that weighs approximately 0 0.139 kilos and valued at 10.2 euros. It's so easy to use these. These are also trackable with a barcode. And I think that having all this information right on the packaging was the reason why I got it so fast because I didn't have to get any phone calls from the post office asking me how much did you pay for the package? Where was it shipped from? It, the fact that it's just out there makes the packages come faster. But that's not why I am excited about this mug. One of the reasons I'm excited about this mug is the fact that these mugs and pretty much all of Printful mugs are really easy to make. And I've actually recorded myself making this mug and it's something that I really want to share with you guys. So I went into mugs and I chose the enamel mugs, which is $12.18 as we can see here. And obviously you can just choose a file and upload any kind of design onto the mug the way you want it to. You can see here some of my previous designs. But the main special thing about Printful and these mugs is to add text, to add clip art, you have quick design, and the quick designs are insanely good. I mean, you have all these like cute stuff for Christmas, you have these stuff for Halloween, you have environmental, which by the way, we had a full video about environmental stuff, I'll leave you a link to that down below. You have the galaxy, which seemed kind of cool to me because I'm really into like, um, I don't know, the stars, kind of sciencey stuff. And whenever you have a design opened here, you can move it around, you can make it bigger, you can place it in the center of the mug on either one of the sides of the mug. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty simple and cut and dry process that is super easy to make. And it's sort of an assembly of all these other elements within the mug. And of course, you can also add text. And adding text when I was clicking on it with this type of design didn't work. I'm not sure why, maybe the add text just doesn't work when you have so many layers because the quick design had so many layers in it. So I think that was kind of the problem. So what I did was delete this design and then add text. And I wanted to write something kind of cool, something that relates to me because, you know, I am still keeping <laughs> these items to myself. So I wrote something like with my head up in the clouds and of course trying to adjust the lines all the time. I plan for an adventure. I thought it would be a nice mug to have, especially, you know, when the enamel mugs sort of have this vibe of going on a trip, going on an adventure, something that people take with themselves when they go hiking or when they go camping. It sort of have this vibe. Maybe it's just me, but I kind of liked it, especially when you can choose from so many different fonts. You can adjust the text any way you want to, as well as put it on the side of the mug, transform it, do an outline of it, do shadows of it, and pretty much play along to get what you want. 
But I really like the Espa font. I've never seen it before. It was kind of cool. And I was thinking it would look nice on one side of the mug. So I was thinking, you know, one side of the mug would have the text and the other side of the mug would have some sort of design. And at first I was thinking maybe to go to Canva to do that design. I mean, I was thinking to go to Canva to do the text, but then I saw, you know, I could just do text on Printful, which is pretty cool. And when I came back and went into clip art, I was actually thinking, you know, if I'm talking about an adventure, maybe camping, maybe clouds. So I was basically searching for some stuff and they do have nice stuff. I mean, they have this like cute kawaii cloud. They have colorful stuff. I like the black and white the most. I don't know why. Maybe because I thought that it would be the easiest one to print. It would kind of be, I don't know, cool to have something like very, very minimalistic and simple. I really like the minimalistic vibe of everything and I focused myself more on mountain and I found this design of a crescent moon, several crescent moons with mountains on them that sort of reminded me something that I did for Team Public a few weeks ago and I felt like this might be, you know, just the right fit for me to be on a mug and the only thing I needed to do was, you know, basically make it bigger and put it on the side but when I was looking at this, the word clouds sort of didn't fit in anymore. So what I wanted to do was go back to text. Obviously, I also corrected a grammar mistake that I had with adventure because I was typing in real fast and changed clouds into stars. And then went back to the design layers, selected my little mountain inside crescent moon and placed it on the other side of the mug. And as I was processing the mock-ups and saving the design, I was looking into the mock-ups and I felt that, like, this is the mug for me. Honestly, this is the mug for me. It looked kind of cool. I like how it looks from both sides. But you know what's cuter? Seeing it in real life. So I'm gonna put my computer aside. And bring up this puppy! Because it's also kind of cool. And again, comes in packaged this way. <gasps> I actually opened it once already and I was like, oh, I can't wait to make this video because I want to use it. It's so adorable. So this is my enamel mug from Printful. The handle is a bit small. I mean, obviously, if you compare it to this, I mean, let's just give it a shot. I don't know if you can see it. The handle is super small. It's a 12-ounce mug. Um, there is the handle from, I hope you can see from this side, like from the inside of it. It's like a hole inside. Uh, but it is kind of cool. It does have this camping vibe to it that I really wanted and of course on one side with my head up in the stars I planned for an adventure and the clip art on the other side made super fast with no special graphic or design skills using Printful's own system to create these mugs and of course you can personalize this. I mean, I'm not just talking about names on a mug or something like that, but for example keep this sentence make this one a bit smaller and have a place under it for a name. You can also have clip art of a couple holding hands or rings and on the other side it's gonna be their names or their wedding date. There are so many ways to do it. And I feel like we're pretty much done with reviewing these uh, two mugs. I mean, what is there more to say about mugs? But there are so many videos coming up in December that you would not believe. I mean, I'm working on so many cool things with Canva, with Creative Fabrica, trying to find you the best fonts and graphics for Valentine's Day on both, as well as showing you some cool Design With Me tutorials, going over Society6, going over a lot of products. I have a mountain of products in my office here with me. I have Society6 pillows, notebooks, I have Art of Wear scarves, both of them. Or was it a headband? I don't even remember what I ordered. I have a puzzle from Final Works, another puzzle on its way from Society6, as well as towels, Sticker sheets, yes, sticker sheets. I didn't say singular stickers, I said sticker sheets, as well as sticker packs. I have Redbubble leggings, another notebook from Art of Wear, as well as a nice little pencil case, and so much more to do this month. Super excited, guys. Super, super excited. But with all that excitement, as I promised at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna say goodbye from the snow. So give me a second. Let's take you from, yes. My stand is also a selfie stick and I'm gonna disconnect you from my speakers. You're getting a glimpse into my office here and oh my God, it's gonna be so cold.
I don't know if I'm ready for this. I think it's like five degrees now. It's daytime and it's five. It's gonna get to minus 10 today. Oh, it's, well, so cold. It's like, even my balcony has snow in it. Okay, so this is where I live, guys. I'm almost slipping. Like everything on my balcony, like the entire floor is kind of slippery. And I would like to thank you so much for watching this video. And of course, if you like this video or found this content useful, or if you like my snow, hit that like button down below because every time you do, YouTube thinks, hey, this is a cool video. I'm going to show it to more people and subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. And with that being said, <gasps> oh my God, there is so much snow here. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. And as usual, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. and record and I'm pretty sure no one can hear me because the kettle is still burning up. Sometimes it's really exhausting making these videos. The whole planning in advance, what are you going to do, where are you going to set your camera. Still waiting for the kettle to boil, which takes forever. Another day, another video. What can you do?